Hello, and thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Hey, I just wanted to uh, just shed a little light on why I am uh, doing all of these videos and, and uh, getting all this information out there uh, to all of you. It's, I guess, it boils down to the amount of us that have no clue what is really available, right? What type of benefits are available? Um, what uh, justifies us being able to obtain benefits? Uh, all the misperceptions out there. I mean, for, for goodness sake, there's, there's what, about 16.5 million veterans in the U.S., and 73% of them are not utilizing the VA for compensation or pension uh, monetary benefits. Now, if you are receiving benefits from the VA, you know, as well as I do, that that number is way off. There's way more of us that should uh, qualify for something, right? Um, so my goal, I guess, my goal is to eliminate, uh, to the best of my ability, and, and really I look at this as a team. It's all of us working together. I'm just a conduit, right? So, I mean, without without the support of each other as a veteran community, where, where are we going? We're going nowhere, right? So it's really not about me. It's about us as a collective. I just happen to be a person who is... Um, putting myself out there a little bit to try to uh, help uh, in any way I can. And, and uh, collectively, I believe that we can eliminate um, a lot of the I wish I would have knowns, right? So the, the I wish I would have known about this benefit or I wish I would have known about that or I had no clue about this, um, to eliminate those. The other thing I would say is that uh, just to kind of tie a bow on that is the military does a great job getting us in, right? As far as, you know, the indoctrination piece, right? The the getting us through boot camp, the making sure that uh, we go to the proper schools, the training, the, the, you know, you can call it mentorship or whatever, but, you know, the structure, right? So even once you go to your unit, whatever it may be, you're going to have um, people there that are senior than you that are teaching you the ropes and so forth. So, you know, there's months and months and months and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars in some cases worth of effort to make sure that we succeed in our military career. But when we go to get out, we get, well, when I first got out in 1997, when I got out of the Marine Corps, um, you know, there, there, I don't even I don't even remember going to a to a TAPS class, which is the Transition Assistance Program, which is currently now in effect, which is a, a government mandated, you know, uh, class for transitioning service members that lasts about a week. Actually, it does last a week. It's five days and it's uh, uh, collaborative between DOL and DOD uh, to inform, you know, transitioning military members of the various benefits and so forth. And it's lackluster. Okay, there's, there's, it's a super high level. Nobody shows you where the key is. Nobody shows you where the door is. Nobody explains the, the, the importance, right, of, of these benefits that, that we've earned, right? So, um, again, my goal is to, to eliminate that, right? Um, I think that the, the larger that we grow, the, the louder voice I will have. Um, I will tell you a little bit about me, um, I, I am accredited, so I am accredited with the VA. Um, also, I uh, have a, so my, I, I work a lot. Um, so if I don't get back to everybody's comments, it's not because I don't want to, it's just bandwidth, right? Um, so uh, my full-time job, I, I am accredited, so that part's that. Um, the second piece is I have um, a contract in which I, I do some work for the uh, National Guard, um, obviously as a civilian, um, as a as a contractor, and then um, I also have a consultant uh, position with a talent acquisition company that's uh, interested in hiring veterans and so forth. Uh, I also sit on a commission for the for a commission on disabilities. I sit on a memorials and monuments committee for um, veteran cemeteries. 
I also am on um, a legislative committee, a committee member on that, uh, for veteran um, military members and veteran legislation. Uh, I work with you know different congressional members, uh, different uh, uh, state representatives, and so forth uh, to affect change. Right, and the one thing that I've learned. Um, you know, through this, and in addition to past past jobs, right? So my 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 couple past jobs, I was the director for a nonprofit that uh, used grant funding um, from the VA. Uh, I ran um, a couple counties that totaled I don't know maybe maybe a veteran population of combined maybe two hundred thousand veterans or so uh, between those those couple counties and. Um, uh, that uh, that nonprofit, uh, we served homeless and at risk of becoming homeless veterans uh, through SSVF uh, grant funding, which is Supportive Services Veteran Families. Uh, and then prior to that, um, I did some employment stuff that was veteran specific um, for quite a few years. And uh, I was also in mortgages. I did mortgages uh, for 12 years, running the team uh, doing that. And I did some things in between. So um, so that's kind of where, where I am as a person and, and kind of where I'm coming from. Uh, in addition to the Marine Corps, I also served in the Army National Guard. So I, I know I'm rambling, but I just wanted to give a little perspective uh, f- for you guys uh, and gals on who I am as a person and kind of where my heart is uh, in this. I uh, absolutely, um, I, I guess to, to boil it down to, to two main goals for me. Uh, with doing this is one is that eliminating the I wish I would have known of uh, I wish I would have knowns right for for all of us uh, past future future and present and all that good stuff uh, is one and then the second goal I would say is that we again as a collective right as a collective group of veterans that we grow this channel um, and the the larger it grows the the more vibrato right? There is in um, affecting change. So uh, as we collectively talk about uh, different things legislatively that that we may want to see happen for us as a uh, veteran group um, that we see uh, is broken maybe within the VA system, uh, these different things, I'm happy to be a voice and to lean on the congressional members uh, with your support. So one of the things I've been thinking about, and then I'll wrap up here, is uh, um, I'm going to push out some surveys um, through this through this channel. So down in the description, and not this one specifically, but coming up, um, I'll push out some surveys, and um, you know, feel free fill fill them out, and uh, it'll give me a little bit of direction uh, as we grow. I mean, obviously, you know, going from <laughs> going from you know, six, 7,000, uh, um, subscription to, you know, a hundred thousand is going to take a little bit of time to get to 200. You know, it would be great if we could someday pass up the VA's sit rep, um, which is at about a quarter million, uh, subscribers, but you know, Hey, look, there's, there's 16 and a half million of us out there. So, uh, we need to work together because nobody's going to take care of us like us at the end of the day. So, Anyway, I know this was a long ramble, but I just wanted to, everything's been so focused. Um, I've been just pushing out as many things that pop into my head as I, as I could possibly think of um, in the limited amount of time that I have. So I had a few minutes right now um, in between stuff, and I wanted to just reach out and, I guess, thank everybody. And um, I felt as though, you know, you, you're kind of due a little bit of explanation on who I am and uh, what I'm, I'm looking to do. So... Thanks again for all your support. I appreciate you. And if you've stuck to the end of any of my videos, you know I, I like to end off with if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong. And I believe that. Thanks.